Hi guys, Coach Kane here, the Rugby Whisperer, helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. And today we're going to be dealing with the much hated subject of the box kick. Why are the Springboks doing it? Why are the All Blacks doing it? Why is any international side doing it? You know, they say, Coach, I see at club rugby games and schoolboy games, there's a ton of tries, there's no box kicking. Why don't they just keep the ball in hand? This is the time to find out. Right, here we go. So if you, what, you, what you see here, it's an international game, right? So you hear the Springboks? And there's the Scots. We all watch this game on Saturday. Let it roll on. Deleti takes the ball nice and safe. Almost a direct repeat of... We don't need too much of that. Okay. So. Right, first of all. Why is he not running from here? It's international rugby, guys. There's probably about, in this defensive line, there's probably about another 10 guys this way, two guys this way. It's very difficult to attack. They're going to be coming with line speed. We're in our 22. We need to kick the ball. Why? Does he kick the ball? Why does he not give, give the ball to his fly after kick? Okay, there's a couple of reasons for that. First things first. Okay? First things first. There's one less pass when you're a box kicking. So he, all he's got to do is pick the ball up and pass. He doesn't have to pass the ball back to Andre, who then has to feel the, the pass and kick. And you say it's international rugby, they should be able to do that. Fair enough, they should. Okay? But it's, it's a little bit safer. Secondly, what else is good about the box kick? These players over here, the offside line for where he kicks the ball is here. If he is to pass the ball back to Hundre, you see him over there in the top corner. If he passes the ball back to Hundre, that is now the offside line. So he's got to wait for a winger to run from that point to go past him. Then they can only start going forward. So basically, if he box kicks from here, straight away everybody's on side. They can all run forward and put pressure. Right. So that's why they box kick. The execution of box kick is another story. Okay. What is a good box kick? Okay. So at times, we, we kick the ball for too deep. So it's easy to be fielded. Or we kick the ball too shallow and everybody's offside. Here's a good box kick for you and a good result for South Africa. Okay, so where's this ball going to land? It's going to land just about chat. Stuart Hogg, the fullback, is far away. So he's their best player in the high ball, so it's far away from their, their best player in the high ball. The guy under it is Finn Russell. Okay, he's a fly half, small guy, probably not as good as in the air as, as perhaps the wingers or the, or, or the loose forwards who've been, who've been practicing for this all week. Look at the result. So that freaking ball. So what we've done is we've gone for 20 meters and we've kept the ball. Look at the Scottish defense now. Remember I was telling you the Scottish defense was organized. There was a, a line of defense. They were going to come forward. Look at, look at the defense now. Not as good. Not as organized. We could have actually run this. Andre saw space behind. It's a pretty good exit. Rugby is all about shifting the, the, the point of, of, of pressure and this point of attack. We were under pressure in our 22. We had the ball. We had to do, deal with an exit. Now look at the Scots. Two men versus a whole Springbok side coming forward. We've shifted the pressure. That's good rugby. This is Kane Ravadoris, the Rugby Whisperer, helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Thanks, guys.